I'm Jonathan from Rupert Neve Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your new RNDIS Stereo Direct Box. The RNDIS is a stereo direct box, and it can take almost any amount of instrument level without a pad. The RNDIS has two completely separate circuits for channels 1 and 2. You can use them with either a stereo instrument or stereo source, or you can use them with two separate mono sources without any crosstalk. You want to start by plugging a pair of XLR mic cables into the back of the RNDIS. The other end will plug into your microphone preamplifier. You have to make sure that your microphone preamplifier has 48 volt phantom power, as that is how the active RNDIS gets its power. For this example, I'm going to plug into just one side of the RNDIS. But if you're using a stereo instrument, you'll of course plug into both sides. You want to plug your instrument or source into the input. And then if you want to feed your source out to, say, another amplifier or a pedal board, plug into the through. If you're using an instrument with a passive pickup, you probably want to use as short a cable as possible. If you're using something with an active pickup or a keyboard, you can of course use longer cables. The RNDIS has a 3.5 millimeter jack to take the output of your phone, a tablet, your laptop, or even a digital video camera. To use the 3.5 millimeter jack on the RNDIS, plug one end of a 3.5 millimeter cable into your device and the other end into the jack on the front of the RNDIS. Then switch the switch from quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter. You want to make sure you're using a high quality shielded 3.5 millimeter cable to avoid hum and noise. Also, when you switch from the quarter inch jack to the 3.5 millimeter input, it will defeat the quarter inch input. If you're experiencing any 60 cycle hum, either at your mic pre or interface, or at the amplifier, try the ground lift. See which position has the least amount of hum. If changing the switch makes no difference, it's probably a good idea to leave it in the grounded position. Things to try with your RNDIS include stereo synthesizers, stereo acoustic guitar, stereo electric guitar, your computer interface, and a whole host of other stereo sources. Many people enjoy taking a DI directly from the instrument, but also from a pedal board or even another preamp. These are some creative ways you can use your RNDIS. You can learn more about all our amazing gear at rupertneve.com and feel free to ask us if you have any questions. Please enjoy your new RNDIS Stereo Direct Box.